good morning student this video is about class 5 subject science chapter number 1 reproduction in plant lecture 4 i am your teacher miss hina in earlier three lecture we have done parts of plant what is reproduction how reproduction is done by plants through various plant through various parts of plant for example root stem leaf and seed then we have learned the structure of seed then how germination of seed is done then how what is the dispersal of seed what are the agent of dispersal of seed in lecture 3 we have done to agent wind and water now in this video we are going to learn dispersal of seeds by animal by self explosion what are crops three types of crops crops according to season kharif crop rabi crop and then some points how to grow healthy crops so no further delay we should start the lecture listen to it carefully so first one is dispersal of seed by animals many seeds and fruits are dispersed by birds animals and human being they eat the fleshy part of the fruit and throw away the seeds many time you have noticed that you have if you want to make a lemonade you squeeze the lemon and throw the seeds out of it sometimes these type of seeds we throw in the soil also then the germination take place the new plant grow in the soil only this is done by birds animals etc also sometime parrots eat the fruits from the plants and throw the seeds on the another place okay this happen with us also and plant animals also and birds also sometimes fruits and seeds have hooks or spikes by which they stick to our clothes or some animals which have hairy bodies you have noticed that sometimes some part of a plant stick to our clothes and when we reach on another place we see that we try to clean our clothes and it thrown by us in the soil only then also germination take place so this is called dispersal of seed by us or animals now they get carried to long distance away from their mother plant in this way these seeds are taken away from his mother plant for example spear grass and tiger seeds are some of example of it it can be taken away from its mother plant by us or animals okay then they are separated from the mother plant and they germination take place on the other place now next one is explosion some fruits like ora and pea become dry and burst open suddenly this causes the seed of scattered away all directions they themselves dry and then open suddenly and they throw their seeds by force on another places so these seeds are also <coughs> separated from their mother plant and germinate on the other places so we have learned all the agents of dispersal of seeds now our next topic is crops the plants which are grow in fields 
to get food and other useful things are called crop whatever we grow in our fields means we or farmers grow in field to get something useful any vegetable fruits uh, grains pulses that is called crop or cotton also anything to get any useful thing that is called crop crops are different type we are now we are going to read different type of crops three types of crops are there first one is food crops second one is oil producing crops and third is fiber crops now on first first one is food crop whatever you food like chapatis rice your vegetables you eat pulses hai na these all crops are called fruit crops farmer grow in their fields then they sell it to the wholesaler then wholesaler sell it to the shopkeeper then shop from shopkeeper we buy these food crops oh these are called food crops like wheat rice potato etc next one is oil producing crops from which we get oil the all those crops are called oil producing crops like mustard sunflower peanut and soya bean these oils are used by us in many ways like you want to apply on your hair you want to cook your food you want to massage okay these oils are you those oil we use in many ways again you can read the examples of oil producing crops mustard sunflower peanut and soya bean you can ask from your mother also which oil she use in kitchen while cooking next is fiber crop fiber crops like cotton jute etc which give us cloth hai na from cotton we get thread then from that thread we make our clothes bed sheets and cotton you is used by doctors in hospitals also from jutes we make ropes we use ro- these ropes ropes to hang our cloth or many things to tie anything tightly in many ways we use this fiber crops also now again the example of fiber crops are cotton jute etc now next next one is kharif crops according to the season it get its name okay different type of grow crops grow in different season soil and climate they have they uh, ala different type of crops want different type of soil and climate to grow crops that grow in summer season are called kharif crops for example rice maize jowar bajra are the example of kharif crops in simple ways you can say that crops that grow in the grow in summer season is called kharif crops and their example you have to learn it okay now next one is rabi crops kharif crops are those which grow in summer and rabi crops are those which grow in winter season i can ask the difference between kharif crop and rabi crop in the homework also so you have to learn this crops that grow in summer season is called kharif crop and crops that grow in winter season is called 
rabi crops example of rabi crops are wheat gram peas mustard etc now next is some points that a farmer should follow to grow a healthy crops to grow healthy crops farmer can improve the yield or crops of crops by following certain tips which are as following these are the these are some points that can help a farmer to grow a healthy crop first point is the crop should be grow the crop to be grown should be selected on the basis of type of soil found in that area means first of all a farmer should look after the soil which type of soil they have then they select the crop to be grown for example if the soil of the selected area is clay clayed then the farmer can grow rice and if the soil is sandy then a farmer can grow coconut groundnut next is farmer should add adequate amount of manure and fertilizers to the soil to make it fertile adequate amount means right amount not excessively and not less than that next point is the seed should be of good quality the quality of seed should be good also proper distance should maintain between the seeds are sowing them and the difference we have done this now if a mother if a mother plant is there and all the seed can uh, if all the seeds fall on the ground only then if all the seeds fertilize or germinate then what will happen they will not get right amount of sunlight air and water so they will not grow healthy so proper distance should be maintained next point is adequate amount of water should provide at different stage next is insecticides and pesticides should be sprayed to protect the crops from pests and diseases next point is some unwanted plants start growing along with the crops these crops are called weeds these unwanted plants complete with the crops nutrients they need so fast we should remove them from time to time this process of removing unwanted crop is called weeding if unwanted type of plants are there means grass are there with the crops then we should remove them fast because they also need water sunlight nutrients so they take the nutrients of the crop only now the homework first question is you have to write the answer of the following question first question is first question is what is dispersal of seed why is the dispersal of seeds necessary second is name the agent of seed dispersal third question is what are the difference between khafi and rabi crops now we are going to discuss the homework solution of lecture 3 what was our, our homework our homework was answer the following question first question was what is reproduction 
what are the three parts of seeds what is germination name three condition needed for the germination now the solution is question number one what is reproduction the method of producing of young young ones of same kind is known as reproduction and i am repeating the answer again the method of reproducing of young ones of same kind is known as reproduction second question was what are the three parts of a seed the three parts of a seeds are seed coat seed leaves embryo third question was what is germination name three condition needed for germination answer is the seed, the process of growing new plant from seed is called germination three conditions are water air and sunlight i am repeating the answer again the process of growing new plant from seed is called germination three conditions are water air sunlight this is the picture of germination you can draw this 